So, APIs are strategic but time consuming. How can CA Live API Creator help? It enables you to create APIs directly from databases with point and click customization. And the APIs are enterprise class, integrating multiple data sources and executing logic and security based on reactive logic and JavaScript. And what is it? The API Creator is a browser-based UI for creating APIs that are live, instantly executable on the API server, a flexible, scalable API execution engine. And there's the Data Explorer, a dynamic UI for immediate data interaction and exploration. So let's create an API. Right. Connect to your database. API Creator scans your schema to discover base and view tables and procedures. It then creates a default API with endpoints for each. So it's running? No compile or deploy? Exactly. And your default API stays in sync with schema changes. You can use the REST lab to test your API, including get, put, post, and delete. Tables, views, and stored procedures. Here we see input output arguments and support for multiple result sets. OK. What about basic filtering, ordering, and so forth? Built in, as well as pagination and optimistic locking. What's on the documentation page? Prose documentation, sample code, and interactive Swagger docs that are automatically generated. OK, so it's easy enough to expose the schema. Can I shape the API? Sure. Choose your data, choose your subresource, and choose an alias attributes. And it's live, fully executable. You mentioned integrating multiple data sources? Right. Here's an example joining across databases. Enable that by defining multiple data sources, including relationships between them. You can even join in data from MongoDB. What if I need to control the SQL or address non-SQL data? Use the SQL resource type as shown here to control the SQL, integrate data from other non-SQL sources, and create your own endpoints. OK, connect to database, default API created, customize it. You also mentioned a GUI? Right, that's ready too. Search for the desired data, see related data with master detail and tabs, drill downs, even make updates with lookups. It's fully skinnable, so you can control how and when fields are shown, colors and fonts, and so forth. So, updates. What about my business policies for integration and security? Critical. Integrity is enforced with a combination of reactive logic and server-side JavaScript. You can code JavaScript events for each table using an automatically created object model. Your JavaScript can call out to loadable Java JavaScript libraries. For reactive logic, you attach rules to tables and columns. You specify them via forms, here for the customer balance, and JavaScript, here deriving the line item amount. This logic implements credit check, a requirement in placing an order. So how do you call the logic? Well, actually, you don't. The API server automatically invokes the reactive logic on any update request. So just these five lines solve all these use cases, an entire system replacing hundreds of lines of conventional database trigger or Java code. But the rules are interdependent. How do I control execution order? Again, you don't. The system executes the logic in an order that reflects their dependencies. This really simplifies maintenance since dependencies are recomputed whenever you change the logic. Some of this logic is multi-table. How do I control the SQL? And that's the third key aspect of reactive logic. The API server automates and optimizes your SQL. It prunes the rules that don't apply to each request and it optimizes the logic that is required. 
For example, this sum results in a one row update, not an expensive select sum. Okay, so it seems elegant for small examples, but how does it scale to complexity? First, your rules and events can always call out to loadable libraries, so there's no barriers. Second, reactive logic is remarkably powerful. Here's a tutorial that illustrates simple solutions to classically complex transactions, such as the allocation of an order to the customer's invoices or a bill of materials explosion. And security? You can specify a pluggable identity provider that integrates with your existing corporate security for authenticating users. It returns a list of roles. For each role, you can define table permissions that enforce fine-grained security at the row and column level. Both logic and permissions apply to all the custom resources that reference that table. Okay, that's great. Thank you.